All right. So um, Ryan here with uh, Accelerate Marketing. I'm just doing a training here with um, with uh, Dr. Chin's office and his staff. I, what I want to do is I just want to make sure they understand exactly how to get reviews on uh, on their smartphone uh, because ultimately that is what is going to make it so that they can um, you know get more patients, get more customers, get more clients. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, first I'm just going to go on really quickly to show you guys why this is important. Um, so the reason why is because if I go and I type in LASIK New York, obviously it'd be great to be, I mean, this is why it's important to be not only on the maps. Okay. And this, this applies to LASIK dentist. I'm not even showing my screen on my thing. Hold on one second. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. So dentist, so dentist New York. Obviously you wanna show up right here. So you can see, you wanna show up on the maps in the A, B, C, D, you see these little pins here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So obviously the, the guy that's gonna win on this page and is the one who's got the most reviews and the closest to a five-star reputation and, the, and closer to the top. That's the one who's gonna, who's gonna win. And that, that applies to what your business is, which is LASIK as well. And you can see here that, you know, obviously your goal is to get over 73 reviews and have better than a 4.9 star rating because that's, your, that's your, uh, your competition right there. So, and the reason why is because 60% of people to 70% actually go to Google and they type in LASIK New York or they'll even type in, you know, your business name. And, and that's the key is you want to make sure that when somebody types in your business name in your city that they find your business on the maps. So Park Avenue. So you want to make sure that that when somebody, because this is what people are doing, they are referred to your business. Any referral, by the way, 90% of people that actually look up that, that are referred to your business or that find any information about your business will go and they'll type in your business name in your city. And that's why it's so important to make sure that when somebody types in Park Avenue LASIK New York, that they actually see your amazing reputation here because this is what people are gonna find. They're gonna see not only Google Plus, they're gonna see your Facebook reviews, they're gonna see your Yelp reviews, they're gonna see your, look at that, your videos showing up there, that one that we, that one that we created for you. Um, Yellow Pages, ZocDoc, Gawker, all these are our directory sites. Okay. So you want to make sure that you want to make sure that, that basically that, that this is crystal clean for your business. You want to make sure that you have better than a 4.0 star rating for every one of these directories online. Okay. And so having, yeah, having given that, uh, that background now that's the why now, now here's the how, okay. Why do you want to get more reviews? It's because of this. Okay, how do you get more reviews is another story. Now I'm gonna to cover today two different ways that you guys can get reviews. One is on your, your Google, on your smartphone. Um, both of them are on their smartphone. Um, but one is through Google Plus and the other one is through Yelp, okay? And the reason why um, it's so important to know this strategy is because this is the one strategy that is almost fail safe to make sure that the review is going to be live on Yelp. Um, Google Plus is a little bit less restrictive in terms of what reviews it lets through and which ones it doesn't. Um, but a lot of people, and I'm gonna show you, a lot of people do not know that reviews are actually, you can actually get a Google review on your smartphone. That's actually how, if you're not on a desktop, the way that most people leave reviews on Google Plus is actually through their smartphone. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's through the Maps application. It's through the Google Maps application. So if everybody would, um, right there at Park Avenue, if you guys would all take your phones out, um, just uh, whether it's a, how many of you guys have Androids? How many of you guys have, um, have, have iPhones? Two iPhones, one Android. Awesome. So we got one Android. So we're going to be able to, this is, who's the one? Okay, great. So let me just, let me just switch this to stop sharing. I'm going to share my iPhone now. So you guys are going to be able to see my iPhone. Okay. Okay, so let me know when you can see it. Okay. 
You guys saw my password. Uh oh. <laughs> I gotta I gotta edit that out. Okay, so um, so okay, so you guys can see my my uh, you can see my my phone here, right? Is that a yes? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so look, you see right here, you can see my my uh, my little mouse here. So this is this is the Google Maps application. It's got the little pin drop here, like we just saw on the the, uh, the Google Maps, and then we've got the iPhone Maps application. Do you guys see this one? Yeah. Okay. How many use? How many of you guys have the Google Maps application loaded on your phone? Yeah, I think all of us. Okay, so you and all iPhone. You by the way, all iPhones come with the iPhone Maps application. Not surprising. Yeah, so, yeah. What's that? Not as good. Yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, Google, the Google Maps application, by the way, is the number two most utilized app in the world, behind Facebook. This one right here. Um, God, I got a lot of open uh, things on my thing. Okay, so um, so Google Maps. Okay, so where do you guys? Let me ask you this: When did you know, and are you aware of the fact that when somebody actually goes to the Google Maps application, if they go if they go and search directions for how to get to your location, what reviews do you think actually show up in the search results when they actually do that? Do you know? It'd be Google reviews, no? Yes, you're right. Okay. Did you know that Google reviews actually show up in the search in your actual map search result? Only when I actually tap the name of the, um, of the place I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, that's what people are doing, right? In order to find the location, they have to do that. So there's no really no way around it. So, and, the, and what, what reviews do you think show up in the iPhone Maps app? That's a good question. I've never, I really never used that app at all. I only use Google Maps. I okay. Mean, it's, I'll give you a hint. It's another app on this, on this screen here. Uh, is it Yelp by any chance? Yes. <laughs> so, so, okay. So now, now that we know that the, the significance of of reviews, not just showing up in the actual search results on your on your desktop, but also showing up in the maps. Like for goodness sakes, it's not just people that are virgin to your to your business. These are people that actually are have have like decided to actually go to your business and imagine and I've literally heard this happen before. Somebody's on the way to the business and they do a map search result for the business and they just they turn around and go back home because they've seen the reviews on the maps app not good we, we want to prevent that right so so let's do me a favor and, and just everybody um, open up the Google Maps application so I'm gonna I'm just gonna click on the Google Maps application right here this little this little app and by the way if you're an iPhone user and you do not have the Google Maps application then all you have to do is go to the App Store right here and then do a really quick search quick click on the little the little search bar down here at the bottom See this little search bar? Click on the search bar and then go up here and then type in search and then go to Google. Maps. Okay, and you'll see it'll come up there and then you just gotta download it, okay? Are you suggesting that people are doing these on their own smartphones or on our staff members? Absolutely on their own smartphones. The reason why is because it's coming from their own separate IP address because they're on their own specific. That was, was going to be my second point about Yelp not letting us go from or from the same IP address. But yeah, you answered my question. Yeah, this is why this is why these are so powerful. This is such a powerful strategy that nobody else is teaching you. Nobody else is going to teach you the strategy. So, if you did nothing else but got this strategy from us. You got your, you got your, you know, ten thousand dollars that you're gonna pay us over the next two and a half years. Um, so, I like how you just quickly slip that one in there. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, did I say that out loud? All right. So, so, um, so, bottom line is, Doc, and and I hope you understand this because here's the reason why is there is seriously there's nobody that's teaching this training. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna go back to the Google Maps. Okay, and now this is how simple it is. Okay, so. And I'm gonna, let me just do that again because I want to make sure that you guys all got it. So you go to you, cl you click on Google Maps and download it if you need it. If you don't have it on an iPhone, by the way, the Google Maps application comes preloaded on any Android device, which is up to seventy percent of the devices out there. I, I know we like to think the iPhones, everybody's got them. I mean, it's only seventy, you know, twenty, thirty percent of the population has them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the search bar up here, okay, and we're gonna type in the business that we want to review. So it's Park Avenue. 
placing. Okay, and we see the one here on, there it is, right there. East 25th, that's you guys, right? Yeah, the second one, yeah. Yep, okay, so we're gonna click on that one and look at what's gonna happen. Hey, where do I go? Just type in Park Avenue Life Sack into the search bar. Mm -hmm. It allows you to do a review. Right? Yeah, watch, I'm getting there, Doc, just stay with me. Okay, you guys, did you guys get to the screen? Do you guys see the screen? Yep, and on the bottom, you just tap it. Yeah, well, just, I'm getting there. Come on, hold on. Okay. At the bottom here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just stay with me. Okay, so now, uh, yes, you, you go to the bottom. You see how you're 60, this is what I'm talking about, Doc. People that, before they even come to your practice, just by them looking you up on the maps, will see your reputation on Google, and on the iPhone, they'll see your Yelp reputation. Okay, so we're gonna pull the, that's why your reputation is so important online. So let's pull up, we're gonna, we're gonna drag it, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna hover it, we're gonna grab that bottom portion and pull up, and we're gonna, we're gonna go to where, you see where the stars are here? See where it says Ryan Steinelson, rate and review on my screen? And it's got the stars right there? What was that? Oh my gosh, I thought that was Dr. Chin. Okay, do you guys see the stars? Yep. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna go over to the, to the fifth star on the right, and you're gonna, you're gonna right, click it. Run, hang on. Right, see that? Just tap that. Tap the stars. And just go, let me go down a little bit. Then, Is Matt still there? Oh, yeah, right here. No, don't give it three. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's Chris, right? Chris? Yes. Okay, so were you able to find, you're, the, you're really the only one that matters. <laughs> no, it's true, because he's doing a beta. <laughs> well, actually, we should make Matt do one too, right? Yeah. I mean, not everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, I mean, everyone should do one now anyway. Yeah. You should just do one on your own name. You don't have to. I need. Okay, so you see, look, guys, I want you to see, look at my screen. You see here where it says Ryan, so you know that it's posting as you if you have your image here. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you, uh, Matt, the guy at the front desk. Okay, here's here's the here's the magic question that you're gonna ask before I so I can just remember this. On a scale of one to five, how was your experience? And if they say four or five, then you say great. Would you would you take would you take a moment to just leave a review quickly on your smartphone? It'll take less than thirty seconds. Two and three, yeah. yes, or four. Is, yeah. Matt, did you get that? Yeah, yeah. Screen them out. Got it. Okay. So, so Chris, so what you want to do is just type in your experience. Now, all you got to do is just type, type in whatever you want to say, boom, boom, boom. And obviously, guys, look, look, this is really important that you get this. Listen, it's not just, listen, guys, it's not just the star rating. I have to change my. Thing. No, it is you. I know, but what I'm saying is I have to change my. my He's logged in now. Logged in now. Under, media. Under so under media. So this will be a Park Avenue safe site. No, yeah. no, you can. You, you should re review as you. Guys. I gotta jump in. I gotta jump in a little bit. So just. Yeah, I'm working in the media department of Dr. Chen's office. I also got the age in 2010. You don't have to fake. Oh, okay. I'm nice. Okay, yeah. You should do it too. So we should all be good. Are you ready? Yeah, Ryan. Okay. So okay. So listen. What's it's really important. What is said in the review? There was a. Docs. I'm with you guys. So it's really important what is said. It's more important than the star rating, what is said actually. And this is actually, well, I mean, obviously you want to get a four or five, but what people are looking for is they want to see what people are saying in the review. This was a study by Yelp, okay? And they said that people really want to see exactly what's said in that review. So you really need to make sure that they, they tell you what benefits they received and then why they would recommend you to others. Do you follow me on that, Matt? Yeah. Okay, you might want to write this down. Yeah. What benefits you received and then why they would recommend you to others, okay? Otherwise, it's kind of a worthless review. It, it really matters what people say in these reviews, okay? So I'm gonna, I gotta, you know, let me just go airplay again. Hold on, I lost my, okay. So, so that's really important. So. Obviously, we're back here. We're at the and all you got to do, guys. Here's the last part: is once you once you're ready to submit the review, you just click this little right arrow here. Do you see this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
and then it's submitted. And, and that review, literally, look, look, you guys have a 64 reviews. Chris, when you submit that review right now, the beauty is, is it happens almost instantaneously. Within two minutes, this will turn to 65 reviews. It only does that on a smartphone. When a, when a review is left on a smartphone, I've only seen it happen that fast when somebody leaves a review on a smartphone. So you can tell that Google gives a lot more authority to these reviews that are left on a smartphone than anything else. Does that make sense? Yeah, question. Do, yeah. They, do they limit reviews per IP address or how do they do this? Yes, that's why, I told, that's why I'm giving, that's why this, this great question. That's why this strategy is so important. That's why you cannot leave reviews on one smartphone or one mobile device or one tablet or one whatever. It's really, it's really important that that person leaves the review on their own smartphone because it's coming from their own individual IP address. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've, now we've done a Google review. Do you guys want to see, oh, and by the way, did you post it, Chris? I'm doing it right yeah, now. Yeah, so then everybody should post there. So let's let's all do it right now. Hey, just give us all like five minutes while you talk about something else without our participation, so we could kind of get the. Well, here's the thing. Look, Doc, I don't want them to leave reviews because they're look. That's called first of all, it's called astroturfing. No, um, no, 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 they didn't hear what I said. They're doing it honestly. They're saying I work for Dr. Chen. Okay. Okay. Well, this is well, my, I'm also patient, and you know what I'm saying. Okay, I only I only have about I have twenty two minutes. So um, and I and I'm also recording this. So if we can, just they keep can just, talking, but they could do it at the same time. But they're not going to be replying for five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, okay. So so let's just go and now I'm going to show you guys how to get a Yelp review. Okay. Oh, by the way, the iPhone Maps app is the same exact way. Look, I'm going into the iPhone Maps app, and this is what's really Doc. You got to really see this. This is really important for you to see. Okay. Because you see the you see the iPhone Maps app here. I'm clicking on it. Watch this. If I go to Dr. Emil Ch um, Park Avenue LASIK, I just want you to see. That wait, wait, wait. Is this you? This is you, right? Is this your address? Ek. Oh, sorry. We got no, no, but the problem, that, that means we also have things for the other name, you know, probably. One of those is 46th Street, Park Avenue, Life City. Wait, which one, where are you? You're, That's you're, Park yeah, number one there. No, Lazy Vision. One, Park Avenue, Life Division. Yeah, you're, you're at 755. No, no, what no else one, one down. One no, down. but go back and don't go so quickly so that we can actually do a proper due diligence about what the other centers are. So just go back to where you are. So there's a Park Avenue laser treatment. But that's Sorry, hold on. The tattoos. Park Avenue, you see this? Which one are you? Well, look, you, you can't just go that quickly, can you, Mark? Because no. you don't okay. want to skip over what? The, who the other people are with very similar names. Right, so we should go. We should look at those right now. I only take a minute. So which one is you, though? Well, can I'll we do just... a screenshot of this and send it to you. Right, so let's look at each one first by minute. Yeah, we just want to look back really, really quickly at each one there first. Um, well, what, what's the which one is yours first of all, and then we'll come back to that. Well, no, because I want to I want to before we switch away from this because one the one second from bottom has the same name, right name, but the address is off. Okay, I will come back to this. I promise you. Okay, let, let me just I let me just which one is you? Um, the I, second one. Um, I've, I've done a screenshot of it. Thick with an eye. Uh, but I think I'm probably Okay, look. It. Here you go, guys. Look, this is what I want to show you. You see this? Yeah. So here's your 44 reviews on Yelp and your 3.5 star rating, Dr. Chen, showing up. Okay? This is the problem. You see that? Yeah. So this is this is what we've got to fix. This is this is what people are seeing when they actually just type in your business name and your city on or your your business name on um, the iPhone Maps application. Okay, so so now let me show you guys how to get a Yelp review. Okay, so I'm going to go to Yelp now. Okay, so I'm opening the Yelp application. By the way, for somebody to leave a Yelp review on their smartphone, they have to have the Yelp application. Now I will say that watch this: is that somebody can actually go through the iPhone Maps application. And they can go into your your actual um, your your app your uh, your app here on the iPhone and look. 
You see here where it says write a review? Yeah. And they can write a review right here from your iPhone um, directory listing here. Okay, which is actually typically, it's, it's basically your Yelp directory listing. So I'm gonna click on write a review, <laughs> and immediately it opens up. You see how it, it goes right to, to posting a review. So that's a fast way for someone to get right to your, to, to review you guys. Is, now, they have that app on their phone. Like I don't have yes. my, that app on my phone anymore, so I have to download it again. Exactly, so you've gotta download it. In the same way that I showed you how to download it before by going to the app, you know, this, this uh, app store, you do the exact same thing and you download it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back by and just open up Yelp directly. So this is for somebody that, that let me just close this. Okay, so here's your Park Avenue laser vision here. Okay, this is your correct location here. You guys see this? This is your Google Map, your Yelp listing. Yeah. So all somebody would have to do, and, and by the way, Matt, all you gotta do is, is, is have somebody type in, and I don't wanna use my current location. I wanna new, use New York and Park Avenue. Laser vision, you see that right there? Boom. 102, there you go. That's you guys, right? Yep. No, wait, is that, yeah, that is you. You're actually three star on this one. Yep. Okay, so, so now all somebody has to do to review you guys is, is they just go right here, they click on write a review. You see this? Mm -hmm. Now it still benefits you guys to have them upload a photo or check in or bookmark it. Now look, if somebody, and this is what's really cool, somebody can even, you can even have somebody actually leave a photo or take a, a video. They can actually like, literally like, like you can really have somebody like, like do a video and, and post it on Yelp. That's a really valuable thing to know. So that's because it helps with your SEO. It helps the more photos and videos that you have uploaded to your Yelp page, the better, the better it'll rank. Now, to get somebody to write a review, all they gotta do is click on this write a review section right here, and then boom, it pops up that same screen. And it gives you an example, and, it, and, it, and all you gotta do is just select the star rating, and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? It's really, it's really pretty simple. Does that make sense, Matt? Yeah. Okay. So, Chris, how's it going? Did you, did you post that review? Yeah, on the Google, on the Google Drive, on the Google. The Google Maps? Yeah. Good. Now watch this. Remember it was 64 before? Look at it. There's your review. It showed up. Remember? Yep. It was 64. Now it's 65. Oh, we, oh we're only seeing your phone at the moment on Yelp. We're not seeing. Oh, oh sorry. Hold on. No problem. Can I post it? I'm posting right now. Okay. Look, look, guys. Check it out. Make sure you say boom right here. Yeah. Hey Doc, look at this. You just got you just got an extra review. You're now 65. The only thing is, I don't even think well, you're. Look, I'm not saying that your thing is not useful for us, okay? But it's more useful for somebody walking in the street and saying, "Hey, uh, where's that local uh, that meatball place that we really like?" Because that's the activity of search that happens. For that type of business, for our type of business, it's not exactly a semi-spontaneous thing where they're walking around and say, "Hey, uh, let's think about that laser scent that we saw." You see what I'm saying? It's more of like a thoughtful, uh, more serious search, and that thing they might do more on either either on either on a desktop or if not on a desktop, and let's say on a laptop or a pad, they're still not searching. On maps, no, that's you saying saying not the map function. That's correct. Yeah. The only reason for the map is just to encourage people to make the review there on the spot. Right. So that would say, yeah, it's I would not, say, I would say, you know, but it doesn't really help us because Doc. we could Doc. force them to use it, right? Doc, Wait, just, 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 Doc, just hold, look, look. The, the reason, the reason why I'm showing you that is because I'm not saying that it's a place that people search for businesses on their maps. Like people don't go to maps to find businesses. Right. What, I, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that some people might not know how to get to your practice. Just like I don't know how to get to pretty much anywhere, even here in San Diego. And I've lived here for two years and I use the maps application all they're, the time. They're not going to be, they're, not gonna be they're, they're already pot committed. And yeah, I know. They're not going to turn around and go backwards. If they see 
What, what's the more risky one thing. is we closed them, they deposit for surgery, and then they start go Googling reviews all over the place. That's the riskier one. No, guys, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think this is for the person who's already on their way here. This is for someone who's here at the moment. We want a different IP address, we want their review. And then someone else who's at home sitting on their laptop. Yeah, yeah. I think, oh, look, that's I, that's I, I, perceive, I perceive it more like Tarek saying. In other words, we get them here. And no, it's done. Them done. Our, our, our hardware, and then wrong IP address. We just done. have to follow Doc, you're right. I mean, I, I, look, I did this training for you for the whole sole reason of showing Matt primarily and everybody else in your practice there how to get reviews from a smartphone. I'm not, I'm not saying or suggesting in one, in one, for one second that people are, are going to find you on the Google Maps application or the iPhone Maps application. I'm, I'm just, I was giving that as a caveat to say, look, there are some people, and I've had clients of mine tell me that when they had a 3.0 star rating, that they literally had people tell them that they canceled their appointment, dentists, doctors, attorneys, et cetera, that they had that day because they saw, they saw their Yelp star rating or their Google star rating on either the iPhone Maps app or the Google Maps application. Okay, so look, why don't we, why don't we do this? Um, let's just do a, um, a role play where let's say um, – Matt. What, well, we're going to do it like three times, okay? So, because, you know what I'm saying, it's going to take... Let's do, it, let's do it real quick. Okay, so... That so. should be that. And then Chris should be somebody who's just in the practice. Uh, you just assume that you got well, me. Well, 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 Mark, okay, so so I'm a, I'm a client. I'm a, I'm a, oh, my gosh. My eyes, I can see now. Holy crap. I can see the letters on the wall. I've never been able to see them. What are you going to tell me? Yeah, more of us. Yeah, and so me and Tarek are probably better at it naturally. I know us. that. So just, just Matt's gonna do it, right? So he's gonna be doing more of them, and me and Tarek are probably a little better at it naturally than Matt. So. This okay, Matt. Matt. Uh, Matt. I'm a, I'm a patient. I'm wa I'm checking out. I'm I'm you know I'm going out the front. Oh my gosh, I I can see better now. I, I can see that I can see the the Burger King across the street. Oh my gosh, amazing. Yeah, I'm so glad we can help you. Um, you know, we see results like this all the time, and. Um, we, just, we wish that you could spread the word and, and uh, you know, help other people improve their lives. Um, if you wouldn't mind just posting a Google review. Uh, it's quick, it's easy. If you just pull out your phone, I can show you how to do it. Um, just Google Park Avenue LASIK. It'll come right up. Yeah. So, so what I would, I would change that to, okay, great. On a scale of one to five, no. how is your, on a scale of one to five, how is your experience? If they say five or four, then you say, great. Would you take 30 seconds or less to leave that review on your smartphone? Because we only get our next patient based on how we treat our current patients. Okay. Okay. And, and so that would help me out. And also, you know what? It'll help me with the doctor because he really wants us to get more reviews. And then it, and then it becomes a personal thing where if, they, especially if they know you or you've developed or, you know, if it's a, you know, and they want to help you because people just naturally want to help people. And so if they know it's going to benefit you, then they'll do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then, and then what I would do is I would say, and I would literally, this is where this training is really important because you've seen it now, you know how to do it. You know how to you know, get somebody to leave a review really quickly done game over. You know what I'm saying? That like, you can literally, if they have, if they have a, and by the way, guys, I want to tell you the person has to have a Google account and they have to have, or rather, they have to have a Gmail account and a Google Plus account. Now, I will tell you that sometimes, Matt and team, that sometimes people will not, they might have a Gmail account, they might not have a Google Plus account. So not everybody is going to be able to leave a review on Google Plus or on the Maps, okay? It's only about 30 to 30% 30 of people will, will, have, will not have both. Now, you can actually set them up with a Google Plus account if they have a Gmail account by just answering two questions and it'll ask you those questions just before they leave the review and it should take like really no time at all, okay? So it's really, really easy to do. Um, and obviously the person for the Yelp application, they have to have a Yelp account in order to be able to leave a Yelp review as well, okay? So who's next in terms of the training? Um, Let's try another one with Matt there, I don't wanna. Yeah, okay, so not next, who's next, it's, it's basically, Matt, Matt doing it, but like, um, look, instead of you always, you can do some of the critiquing, okay? So we'll have um, uh, Mark be somebody, and then we'll have Tarek be someone, but they're going to be slightly less than willing, and he has to control them. It doesn't mean they're not seeing well. Right. They're a private person, or they're a busy person, or something like that. Right, right. Okay. 
So back. I have not. So I have, so I have like eight minutes. Okay. So so who's so who's the one who's next? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm graduating in this instance, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right, Tarek. Uh, or, 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 um, when he's graduating, Mark will do one when he's like, um, I don't know, a month out, and then Chris will have to do one when he's a week out, but happy because I don't. The whole thing waiting for graduation is not the best. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Well, so today, you'll be graduating. You'll be like a, 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 a month, and you'll be a week. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. So, yeah. Right, so I see you're uh, 2015, ready to graduate. Uh, happy with your eyes? Yeah, I love it. I've never seen better in my entire life. Yeah, so on a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate that? Like a 16. Oh, great. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a quick 30 seconds, um, you can rate us on Google+. Plus. Uh, tell everyone how fantastic your experience was. Oh, I mean, it's uh, a real I, don't, quick. I don't know. It's not an issue of time. It's just an issue of, like, I try not to, like, post this kind of stuff. And, like, I'm very private about it. I don't want anyone to know that I got surgery and all that. It's like all my friends are going to see. I don't want to, like, put my name out there. I mean, something you should really spread, help help other people. Um, no, I know. I'll, I'll like about. tell people who are like really close to me, but I don't want like my name out there. You know what I mean? So I don't know where to go from that. I don't think. It's, can they do with a different for, name? I don't think it's realistic for him to always expect the person to be like, "Yeah, you're saying so." He has to be able to say things like, "Okay, just post under a pseudonym," or "Okay, yeah. just post name." Yeah. How could they do that? Okay. 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 Into their Gmail, can they do pseudonyms? Yeah, let me let me just – first of all, let me just – you guys got 67 reviews now, so that's cool. So you went from 64 to 67 in about 10 minutes. So that's the power of, of this strategy. Um, I have one – by the way, really quick, I have one, one <laughs> client that, that got over 200 reviews in three months using this strategy. Um, you, I think you guys can even do more than that. Now, what I would – the way I would respond to that, Matt, is I would say, look, not every – um, uh, first of all, you have a, you have a Google account, you have a Gmail account. Well, your, your information is not going to be out there anymore because you already have a Gmail account. You already have a Google plus account. Um, we only get our next patients based on how, you know, we, we treat our current patients and actually it would benefit, it would really benefit me. I mean, because if you don't mind, I mean, if you can, I mean, you can kind of, you know, I would play with that because I'm telling you that is what's going to get somebody to leave a review is when they feel like you're going to be getting benefited from it, you're going to see that you'll, my, the, 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 the numbers that we see, I've done this personally. I've actually done this in a retail space. I've done this in a, in a dentist office, uh, personally where I've asked for reviews. I, I have at least a, a 60 to 70% success rate when I ask uh, just for a review. Okay. So is there any way they can leave a pseudonym or it's the really paranoid person that like has a, a Google pseudonym? What do you mean? Like, like for their actual profile? An alias, like a name, like a fake name. Well, they, no, no, because they, they've already, they, well, they can for the Gmail account. It depends on how they set it up. I mean, they can, they can put a fake name in there if they want to. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, and it, it depends on how they set their, I mean, anybody can set up a, a fake, a fake account. Yeah. It's going to be a whole lot of effort for someone to say, yeah. they're not going right. to get Right. Look, this strategy, guys, is for people that already have a Gmail and, and typically already have a Google Plus account. Um, and it, you, can, you can get by with people that, and, and, and convert them if they don't have a Google Plus account. They can set it up in two minutes, like I said, like a, like a second, like two seconds. Hey, Ryan, do they need a Google Plus account or it's just preferable if they have one? No, they have to have a Gmail. And like I said, about 60 to 70 people have That's true. Well, I've used well, Google well, reviews before, which well, is Chris, Gmail. Chris just reviewed and he only has a Google Plus account, do you? Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah, he does. He wouldn't be able to, look, guys, I know this. this is what I do. I mean, he wouldn't be able to review. Does a Google Plus account come automatically with Google? No, it doesn't. Well, at some point you might have created one. No, but well, they must push really hard then to get you to join because yes. I didn't go out of my way to make a Google Plus profile for I mean, myself. I joined Google Plus years ago. So if, you make, if you make a YouTube channel, you also get set up with a Google Plus account as well. Oh. Okay. So anyway, I mean, this. I mean, probably stuff you never wanted to know, but I mean, there you go. So, um, so anyway, so I got to jump, guys. Is there any questions? I have like two minutes. We'll do another role play. Well, we need to.